Yo, what is going on guys? Crimson out here bringing you guys a brand new video. Today what you guys are going to be watching is some 1v1 SMD strats you can do on Crash that I've actually like just made up. And they actually seem to work. I've tried them on my friend. Uh, it did. They did really well against them. I tried it on another uh, another friend. They, they did really well against them too. Um, so uh, I'm pretty sure they'll work. I don't know. Um, we're just going to be testing these. And I'm going to be giving you guys some uh, the, the, the ones I use. Well, I don't really use them because I don't play 1v1s on this map. But I'm going to teach you guys the the techniques you guys should use if you guys play in a 1v1 you guys are playing a 4v4 and it's a 1v1 situation so uh, yeah let's get right into it okay so first spot guys is right here um this is for a b-bomb strat now most people what they do is they'll plant right here and they'll go play something right there but you can easily be seen from the middle or you know they'll plant here and check from there or plant extend bomb here and check from there now i have two strats for this one these one's really retarded one is actually really decent so for both of them you're gonna plant them right here at this very corner as much as you can one so like let's say we're going we're going to we're going to go ahead and plant bomb you're going to try extending it as much as you can to the right side corner so that you can see it from over here once you do that you're going to quickly come over here and you're going to lay down and you have eyes on bomb now you don't need to be pre-aiming it because you can see if someone moves onto it and uh so yeah that that's that's one strike you guys are going to do you just pre-aim it right you just got to lay down you wait for them to cross and then boom you know you can snap onto them another one is right here you can just lay down and you can see when they pick a bomb and then you have this cross right here like that you know you can move and then not not many of them are gonna come and be like this you know unless this is kind of an obvious spot to be right there but uh for this one i would recommend more this one over here so yeah that's uh spot number one and let's go ahead and get into spot number two all right now uh we're back here for spot number two now for this one it's a little more complicated and you're gonna have to do a glitch now I wouldn't recommend this if you're in a 1v1 but I would say if you're in a 1v2 you can have someone sitting right there and then or if you're in a 1v3 this will work work out perfectly you can have someone sitting right there or you can have them sitting right here or you know one of the, one right here but just make sure someone's watching middle and the other one just simply has to be sitting outside right here just watching it so for this one what you're gonna want to do is basically you're going to want to plant the bomb here so that you can watch it from that little crack right there. Now, some may be saying, how do you get up there? I'm pretty sure most of you guys know by now. But what I like, what, there's many multiple ways to get up here. But what I found the most easy was to get on here. You slide to the left and you sort of jump on this. Once you jump, you just jump straight forward and you're on it. Boom. And all you got to do from here is just crouch and you can see the bomb right there. So we're going to go ahead and put bomb down and then we're going to come back on this spot. Okay, so we're back here, guys, and uh, as you guys can see, bomb is down, and you can s easily see it from there. You can uh, you can't move your uh, your red dot down anymore, but you can see them. You know, obviously, you can pick them up. If not, you could just fucking stand up and boom, 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 right there. Uh, but yeah, that's one spot. It's pretty easily. The reason why I said have someone right here is because they can easily pick you off since you're just standing on this. But they really can't see you if they come through there, so you don't gotta worry too much. But yeah, you just lay down here and then you can pick them off right there. You know, they come right here, pick them off or any anything in the middle. This is a really OP, OP spot and a really nice uh, glitch to get on top of. So, Alright, we're going to go get in, uh, ahead and get into spot number three. Now, spot number three is a little more of a unique spot and you really can't uh, plant bomb. But what you're going to want to do on this on this bomb, if you spawn on, uh, on a defense, you're going to want to make sure you have... Uh, an extreme conditioning class as so it doesn't matter what you have on it just make sure you have extreme conditioning now you can do one of two strats one if you spawn here you can make sure you run along this side right right here you switch to your m16 or whatever gun you're going to use you jump here and you could quickly watch if anybody crosses through bottom you have someone holding your middle you're set and then you could quickly come peek this right here and then you have both of this so that's uh that's one thing you can do another one you can do is uh, is instead of instead of running from B bomb to um, the little uh, dark arches, you're gonna want to run and you're gonna come along this wall side right here because they can't see you unless they check through that. You're gonna come here and you're gonna lay down. The cool spot about this is they can't see you if they're running through here. They can't see you unless like they're unless they could they they're literally laying against this wall then they can see your body there. But most people what they'll do is they'll run and then they'll just come along this and then they'll check this first. If it's a if it's a four v four or three v three, no one will check this. And then you know once you're once you're right here, you can easily check if they're there. You kill them and then you can see all of cross. You can even see if they qua if they cross to through yellow. And you know obviously you won't be able to pick them off, but you can't call it out to your teammates. So you literally have all of the whole map just by this one site and then if they try flanking you can easily stand up and boom you're on a heady they're on a heady it's just whoever wins that gunfight 
So yeah, this is one really OP spot that I would recommend just for anything in general, even if you're in a 4v4 and a 3v3. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for a 2v2, but maybe for a 3v3 and a 4v4, I would, re I would really recommend this. But yeah, that's spot number 3. We're going to go ahead and get on to spot number 4. Okay, now for spot number 4, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, make sure you're on this side of the bomb. You're going to plant it. You're going to plant the bomb so that you can see it from broken through the stairs. Now, people might know this spot, but it just really depends on how good your gun skill is to kill them. Most people would do this with the sniper because it's more accurate. Or, um, you know, just in case you miss your shots with M16, you could quickly snipe them. But uh, what you could do is you could carry uh, overkill and have an M16 and a sniper, of course, since you're going to be factoring out um, uh, deep impact, or not deep impact, um, uh, stopping power. You might have to be a little bit more accurate with your shots. But basically what this does, it's it'll just disorientate people. They'll, they'll think you're an A top three. They'll check it and then you can easily see if they move. Bam, bam, you can kill them and then boom, that's an easy win for your guys' team. So yeah, that's spot number... Uh, Number four, I believe I said, um, we're going to go ahead and get into spot number five. Okay, so for spot number uh, five, what you're going to want to do is like spot number uh, two. It's a bonus um, little spot because it, it does require a lot of uh, practice to, to do it. And it kind of does require two people to do it. But you can successfully execute this with one person. But it does, you, you're, you are going to need to be really skillful on uh, getting on top of glitches and, and uh, uh, like buildings. So uh, yeah. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, plant it anywhere along these lines from this anywhere through here. Any of this. Not here or not here. You can do it, but it's going to be harder. The reason why I recommend planting it here is because the first thing they're going to check is that spot over there. They're going to immediately think you're watching it from there. And that's the first spot they're going to check. So once you guys have bomb planted, you guys are going to want to make your way onto that building right there. Now, if you guys don't know how to get onto that building, it's really simple. All you got to do is you you come up to uh, sandbags, you jump on one of these, you jump onto this satellite, I mean, uh, this uh, light post, and then you jump. All right. All right, so what you do is you come onto sandbags, you jump on this light post, and you're just going to want to jump on that. You jump on it, and then boom, you're up here, and then to get on there, what I recommend doing is I kind, I really don't know how uh, how you can do it from this line right here, but I just come here, and then I jump. And then all I do is I sound whore the bomb. Uh, I just lay down here and then there's literally no way on the map they can see you unless they have a sniper and they're peeking it over there. But that's why I would recommend sitting somewhere right here so that this building can block you. The only thing they can see is your foot. But of course, if you sit like this, you're perfectly aligned with it. And then boom, they can't see you. You're checking this. You just got to be careful because they can't see you if you're if they come out through there or there. Especially if they're on A, they can run out and kill you up here. So it, you're... You're just going to have to be really sneaky about it, you know. But uh, what I would recommend doing is sit right here and pre-aim this. Because, of course, you're going to be sound horning the bomb. So you can hear if they pick it up or not. You hear them, and then, boom, you can kill them. The reason I say not there is because I feel like it's going to be a little too... You're going to struggle if uh, you tried killing them. Let's say there's someone right here, or he's climbing up and he's shooting you. Well, meanwhile, you aim to the bottom. It might take like quite a, while, quite a bit to, uh, to aim all the way down and shoot him. And then, by that time, you'll be dead. But if you plant it here, you can just peek it, and then boom, they're dead. So, uh, yeah, these are all the spots I have for you guys. There's many more on different maps. If you guys want to see them, just comment down below which map you guys want to see. And as always, it's been your boy Crimzow. Don't forget to drop this. Don't forget to drop a comment and uh, like this if you guys did think any of these spots were by any means helpful. So uh, I hope you guys. I hope to see you guys in my next video. As always, it's been your boy Crimzow. I'll see you guys later. Bye.